Hi, in this video I will show you how to use application for converting JSON files to PowerShell. So basically I have a JSON file on my computer. I can open it with Notepad just to show you what is inside. And inside is like data set with, uh, it's basically hierarchical JSON hierarchical structure with on top we have a US states and we have a, um, information for every state like state name, state code, region, subregion, and for every state like this. And then we have like an uh, array, short array of data. I can also open it into um, JSON viewer. It's a free app just showing what is inside of JSON file. It's trying to flatten JSON structure to a table and present it like a table with a column so I can see what is inside and I can export it to different format if I want. So um, I, I will uh, use application to convert this desktop application to convert the JSON file into PowerShell and have it in PowerShell. It's not like a, uh, I will have PowerShell script that will open file, read the structure and parse it. It's mostly for embedding JSON into PowerShell. Like I need to run this, send this PowerShell to run some, somewhere or, and I don't have to keep JSON file with it. I have it embedded and I can use it for um, use data from, from JSON to run through like list of computers or anything without having JSON file inside. So um, uh, to download app, I'll go to my website. This is my website. I will click on search and uh, to find app, I will type PowerShell and get all PowerShell. Um, apps, I'll click on this generate PowerShell and I scroll down to JSON to PowerShell, this one, and I click the download button to start downloading process. I'll be recording more videos on PowerShell. So if you are interested, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. We will be recording, uh, we will be downloading, we we're waiting for to download uh, for application archive to download on our uh, my computer and uh, it will be downloaded from Google Cloud. It's a relatively small archive. I'll just click on it to open, double click on MSI inside archive, click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. So I'll just click run anyway to start installation, click on next, next install, click on yes and click finish on final screen. And you can see new application has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and this, and I can close this too, and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. And first step one, we will have to select our input file. I'll click on it. And my file called states JSON. Uh, JSON. I know it's in documents, so this is why I can type or I can just scroll until I find things. Uh, JSON here. If it's in different folder for you, you can navigate through different folders in, on your computer and find it. Click on open. I can add more files if I want to have a multiple structure in PowerShell, like uh, different. It, it's all all files. We will place it into different stru structures, and I can access them. So here I can select if um, I can select columns I'd like to add to PowerShell. Let's add them all. Click on next. And here I can preview my PowerShell result file, or I can just save result to PowerShell. Let's say it's asking me for name uh, and location of the file, result file. This name and location is okay. Just click save. So then I can open PowerShell. Right, and just drag my file into there. I want to show you how to. So we now we have a state structure with uh, all data in it. So in order to access the structure, I can do for a uh, group for a for each right a in states uh, states. And then I can write host then a and uh, state name. So 
nothing wrong with furniture. Okay, let me quickly check. Oh, I have to keep it in the and put it in this way. And let's run it. Okay. And you can see we can access a state name like this. So basically, if I have um, my um, structure here and I can add my code here to do this stuff. So I can access state name or I can access any other fields like region. Yeah, let's save it. And you can see it has a region after that. So yeah, basically that's it. We converted our state's information from JSON to uh, PowerShell and now I can access it from uh, my script and do whatever I want with it. So as I mentioned, it's not like opening, uh, I can, there is a code I can open JSON file from specific location, but sometimes um, I, I cannot access file system if I'm running from, if I run for a server or specific server or I have to send this uh, PowerShell and uh, and it will be run by administrator or, or other person. So I prefer to embed information from different JSON files and have my code accessing and uh, this information and processing. So this is for this specific case. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in comments below. Thank you.